finally, you have to be organized, which is why we go round the nets, but bring everything back to the car in a central central location. And, and this one already has his, his ring on. And yeah, you can come closer and, and see him without scaring him. It's going to hit the silver, right? <laughs> so we were just looking this one up. And it is a bird that I banded just last week on that. So the, when we're banding them, the first thing we do is identify them. Not, I did this before. No, you're not flying off with me. Uh, is that this one is called a common yellow throat. It's one of the it's one of the warblers. So that's an insect eater, short um, pointed beak, quite a large eye. They all have different personalities, and common yellow throats tend to be rather flappy. But if I hold him upside down, then it's sort of an unnatural position for him, and he doesn't flap quite so much. But you can see him eagerly looking round, so he's not terribly worried by the process. He's just wondering why he it's can't his leave. Time. <laughs> I've been through this. Some, some of the chickadees can be trap happy, and you catch them every day. <laughs> and then others, once you've caught them, they're extremely wary, and you don't catch them again for the summer, even though you, you can see it. it right so why there. isn't he pecking at your fingers to try to like get revenge and get re released? <laughs> because he's well behaved. Some of the others aren't. Okay. We caught a chickadee with the first crowd, and the chickadees aren't well behaved. Mm. Some of the birds can be very aggressive, but these insect-eating warblers are very, very gentle. Huh.